First big hurdle, just getting everything in one spot. How does Notebook LM even start to handle all the different types of financial documents we all have? Right, that's the foundation, isn't it? And what's actually quite effective about Notebook LM is its ability to handle various file types. That makes centralizing things, well, surprisingly doable. It deals with PDFs really smoothly, which is uh, absolutely key. Because that's how most statements arrive, yeah. Exactly. Bank statements, credit card statements, those investment reports you mentioned, maybe quarterly summaries from your brokerage. They're almost always PDFs, so you can just drag and drop those right in. Okay, PDFs are covered. That's huge. But what about other things, like maybe a budget plan someone wrote up or financial goals? Good question. That touches on its versatility. Yeah. So beyond PDFs, it also plays really nicely with Google Docs. A lot of people might keep, you know, budget notes, maybe summaries of articles they read on retirement, or just simple lists of what I want to achieve financially in a doc. Notebook LM integrates that unstructured text too. Right, right. So text and PDFs, <laughs> but the elephant in the room for finance stuff, uh. spreadsheets, we all use them, Google Sheets, Excel. Ah, ah yes, spreadsheets. This is where it gets... Um, pretty interesting and shows some user creativity. Notebook LM doesn't directly support spreadsheet files like .xlsx or Google Sheets format, but Alex, the user we mentioned, found a really simple, effective workaround. Okay. What's the trick? Just export them as PDFs. Oh, 